So what we're going to do here is jailbreak the analog super NT. So head out to this GitHub website, click on the firmware link, go ahead and grab that file right there, save it to a place you can remember, like the desktop. This will just take a few moments to download. Take a look at the instructions, they're pretty important, but basically all you're going to do is throw this little firmware on the root of your FAT32 formatted SD card. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Once that's formatted, just throw that right on the root of that SD card. And you're going to put that right into the SD card slot of your analog Super NT. And what you're going to see is a brand new option. This is Browse SD Card. So head back to your computer, throw your SD card back in the machine, make sure to delete this firmware because you don't need it at this point. Maybe keep it on your desktop for an archive, but you don't need it on the SD card anymore. Create a folder on the root called SNES or just grab uh, an SNES folder that you may already have full of ROMs and you're going to throw that right on the root again. And what I've done here is I've picked uh, some zip files and some SFC files. I also have some ROM hacks, etc., just to see what does work and what doesn't work. For example, the Dragon Quests 1, 2, and 3 are language hacks. Uh, I got three different chrono triggers just to see which of those might actually work within the analog NT, because honestly, I, I don't know. Okay, booting back up again, you'll see the Browse SD card. Go ahead and select that, and you'll see everything is listed here. Um, you'll notice that there's a Dragon Quest 3 IPS file. That's actually a language file. It's not actually a ROM. So this will show you everything that's in the directory. So let's try a zip file first. It does load it up. Um, however, it doesn't seem to do anything with the zip file. To get out of this uh, state, all you need to do is hit select and down. It'll bring you back to the main menu. And at this point, you can just pick a different ROM Let's just go ahead and try the Chrono Trigger SFC file, see if this does anything. And sure enough, there it is. As far as I can tell, there are no uh, cheats menus or uh, save states. Um, let's go ahead and try a Dragon Quest translation. The language translation is working. Um, I'm not going to play too much of this. But... Let's just try... We'll try another zip file just to see if Chrono Trigger was a fluke. I believe the Star Ocean is another language hack. And it also does not work. I do have the SFC of this. Let's try that. But I get this message, expansion's not supported. I don't know what that means, but I also don't know what the source of this particular um, Star Ocean uh, English translation file is from. Dracula X Zip does the same thing. Doesn't work. So I can conclude that zips aren't supported. So uh, I guess my recommendation, or I guess what I will do, is pick out uh, my favorite SNES games, throw them on the ROM cart, or the SD card, uh, give them the names that I choose. Uh, there's no scraping here, there's no auto rename, there's none of that uh, fancy stuff, so it's going to be up to you. Um, I might actually try just putting a file on there without the .sfc extension just to see if the Analog Super NT is smart enough to read it, but if not, it's no big deal either. Um, these all seem to run great. Uh, they look good. The firmware update is super easy, so there you go.